Um, for me, it definitely is very saturated now. For me, I don't know if this is true, but I kind of feel like I'm funny sometimes on Instagram. So that's how I, I, I really like... <laughs> for me, like, I really enjoy like writing captions and like letting people into my life outside of like photos and stuff. So that's for me is something that I feel like brings a different edge. And I also think just being like an Asian American girl in this space is kind of different. Like, I look back on, that's something I really love about the digital space in general, is that when I was growing up, I didn't have anyone that I could really relate to or like look at and feel like, hey, I can be like that girl. You know, I didn't have anyone that I'd be like, hey, she has a similar skin tone, hair color, like I shape as me and look up to her and be like, she's doing amazing. I take a lot of inspiration from her. If she's doing well, like maybe I can do it too. So. I like to think that I could be that for younger girls in the space. Um, I guess I would say for me, it's a combination of my travel content, um, because like I said, my followers do enjoy that, and I feel like that is, it's really been a newer um, part of the social media and influencer content in the past like three years. And so I would like to just give tips and advice and how to travel cheaper and places to go, so that has been helpful. And then also, I agree with what she's saying, just like showing your personality at the end of the day. Um, people follow people they like, because there's so many people on social media, there's only so many wash and goes and smoky eyes and eyeliner tutorials you can have. So if they like you as a person, whether your personality is big or it's quiet or timid, they're gonna follow you because they connect with you. Um, and then even with like Instagram stories, I noticed my views double when I'm actually like, talking to the camera and having a conversation with my followers versus just posting content. Um, so I think a combination of that, so finding something that is unique about you, and it's truly being yourself, again, it's cliche, but it really makes all the difference. I think for me, um, sharing a lot of the business side of what I do on a daily basis that might seem a little boring, but I know that there's so many girls out there wanting to start businesses, and nobody really knows where to start, and myself included. I still don't know what I'm doing all the time. But I think sharing kind of behind the scenes and uh, just the content of the other side of what I do um, outside of Instagram is sort of a unique thing because I know a lot of people are like, oh wow, you know, I had no idea that that's how you get packaging for makeup and like all these things when I go behind in the lab and show swatches and samples and it's not glamorous, it's not the most exciting, um, but to their point, you know, when you start to compare yourself on Instagram, that's when your content becomes boring because you're doing the same thing everyone else is. So I think sharing those things that are unique to you in your life and whatever you're doing um, that your peers may not be is actually really, really interesting to your audience. So I think that's kind of what my differentiator has been. It's just the other side of my life outside of Instagram and YouTube. I would say mine is similar to hers in the sense that I've always been very fashion focused and I still want to continue that direction. But the most thing I hear when people come up to me, they're like, where's Jaden? We want to see Jaden. Like, it's so funny that she's, and my husband too, but I don't, there's nothing, there's no other person that has a 12 year old. That's my age, I'm 32. I had her really young, but a lot of my friends are in the baby stage and I'm completely out of that. I'm not even relating to that right now. So it's funny because I share a lot of that on my stories and YouTube and um, so yeah, I just think that really sharing your personality does help and that's why me and Jill are pretty close too because she, we have so much fun together but also I was following her for a while and she's one of the, I don't watch that many stories just because I feel like sometimes it's when we're doing things like we need to keep moving and sometimes it takes too much time away but you're one of the one person that I would watch your stories. And I'm like, you were so funny. <laughs> because her, her personality really is how she is in real life. So 